In the early morning hours on October 16th, a group of deer hunters gathered at the Odlin Homestead in Ionia County for day one of the two-day deer season for disabled hunters. Good friend Angela Klein was here with her parents in hopes of connecting with another deer to put on the dinner table. If you didn't know it was only October, you'd think it was November 15th with all the people and all the excitement here in Pete Odlin's garage this morning. Part of the excitement was because of a specially designed golf car that Steve Christians would be hunting out of today. If it were up to Pete Odlin and his friends, there would be a lot more of these carts around. You know, one cart is way too few. It's just a, a just scratching the surface. We have to have lots of these or similar things, projects going on, and I encourage other chapters of NWTF and every other sports organization to get involved in this type of a program and and, uh, and learn from what we've experienced so far and maybe improve on it and, and get our handicapped friends out in the wild. And this cart will go out into the wild. Let's back up for a minute to this past summer when this hunting vehicle first came to be. The transformation happened in Caledonia at U.S. Golf Cars. Well, what we did was we started out with a, just a standard run-of-the-mill golf car uh, that was pretty much retired out of a fleet out of a golf course. And we took it and stripped down the body, top, got it right down to the frame, replaced batteries, controller, put a lift kit on it, uh, obviously a bigger set of tires, new body, and a lot of accessories. It's going to be for the Flat River chapter of the NWTF and Wheelin' Sportsmen. Uh, it's to, to kind of raise awareness uh, to also other groups uh, to get out, there's there's easier ways to get out and do things. The whole idea is to, to work smarter, not harder. And whether you got five acres or 500 acres, uh, it's a real efficient way to get out and and uh, get get the work done. These guys were busy transforming this into a top-notch hunting vehicle, specially designed to accommodate a disabled hunter. Russ says U.S. Golf Cars does this kind of custom work for lots of different people. Well, on this unit, we, uh, we put the brush guard with the rack on top. Um, we actually put a gun rack in here, a flip down, smoked windshield, the full camouflage enclosure, and the, uh, the big all-terrain, mud terrain tires. After a few more braces were welded on and safety straps installed at Pete Odlin's shop, it was ready for anyone to slide out of a wheelchair and into the front seat for a real hunting adventure. Steve Christians is happy about this special season for disabled hunters. Oh, what a great idea. Um, I, I wasn't aware of it until a few weeks ago, and it's a great time. It's a little earlier than the other hunts, so chance of being filled with snow and getting out was a little easier and getting around was a little easier. I think it was a fabulous thing. Having the ability to get out into something, having the ability to get out where you can hunt to see deer, I, I can get out, I haven't been able to carry a gun, I haven't been able to do any of those types of activities. They're, they're coming out with things all the time. It's, it's finding things that everybody else uses that I can adapt it made a big difference. Oh man, the old feeling I came back when we saw the deer coming close, that was, that was so neat. I haven't been that close to deer in a long, long time. That was, that was really neat. Steve felt comfortable making a 60 to 70 yard shot, and this deer stood at just over 100 yards right off the clearing we were hunting, so Steve waited. He started hunting at age 12, and then 10 years ago lost the use of everything from the middle of his chest down due to a fluid-filled sac in his spinal cord. Just to get him out in the woods again was a success in Pete's book. Well, I think it was successful uh, just seeing Steve smile when we seen the deer so close, and he commented, oh, it's great to see the deer that close. And, uh, to me, that's successful right there. Steve was smiling all right. We saw a few more deer, and after a while, the guys decided to come up with a new game plan. Well, we've been sitting here for quite a while this morning. We had a lot of deer coming through. I thought we were going to get a shot at one out here. If it would have taken one more step out, Steve would have shot it. And then it must have winded us or something, and it snorted. Took off running. We've had several deer come out on the field over here pass back and forth a lot of range but so it's getting later in the morning we're thinking about just going for a little drive through the woods and try to spot a deer that we can ease up close enough to get a shot at huh? yeah sounds a good plan well after creeping through the woods for a while with no success we headed back to the house to share hunting stories with the Kleins and to hit the kitchen for some of bobby odlin's famous cooking 
Pete Odlin has a pretty unique attitude about this beautiful chunk of land he lives on. Well, I, I just feel like God blesses people in different ways, and he's blessed us with a nice piece of property here. And, and uh, so I like to share it with people that uh, appreciate it and get people like Steve out here that do appreciate it. And you just feel their excitement and, and see their, uh, the happiness on their face. And it's nothing else is that rewarding. If, if you just hogged it all to yourself and didn't allow anybody else on, uh, you know, it just, it, it'd be so selfish to do that. And, and uh, I mean, the, the gratification isn't anywhere near as great to kill an animal, a deer, or something yourself as it is to take someone else out that wouldn't be able to do it otherwise and, and help them enjoy it. It's, uh, it's tenfold the thrill it is to get something myself. As we hit the woods after lunch, we made our way slowly to the hunting spot. That's when the guys spotted a doe in the distance and set up for the shot. I wasn't quick enough with the camera, but we had all decided earlier that if Steve had a deer in his sights, he should take the shot when he was ready. All right. All right. Woo all right. That was a short hunt. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Good yeah. deal. Wait, oh, good shoot. shoot. Man, that thing was down like a ton of bricks. We got it. Shoo. How does that feel? Oh, man. I, how do you describe that? <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> that is so fun. How long has it been since you harvested a deer? Oh, man, at least 12 years. At least. Oh, man. What are you feeling right now? Like, today is a fabulous day. Thank you so much. This is... Oh, man. You dropped it. Oh, this made getting up this morning worthwhile, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Backstraps tonight? Backstraps tonight. Good deal. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, good shot, Steve. Wow. Awesome. Didn't go far at all. Yeah, it fell right in its tracks, man. All right. Congratulations. Shoot, we did well. First, Thank you, you so first much. in a few years, A huh? long time. Yeah. A long time. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. That is so cool. Well, we got a tag to put on now. Yes, we do. All right. Steve was very excited to tag a deer. He said his next project now is to find a golf cart to fix up for hunting at home in Belding and to shoot a buck this year. He woke up this morning with a lot of unknowns, a lot of new challenges, and a lot of new faces to meet all before dawn but he says he's glad he took a chance and has advice for other disabled hunters. Find a way. <laughs> that was so incredible getting a shot at a deer today. I'd forgotten. That was like, I, I just couldn't believe it. That was, that was like your, your first Christmas all over again. <laughs> I found out getting the permit to hunt out of a vehicle was easier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be tons of paperwork. It was not. The DNR worked extremely well with it. Um, the other permits I need are a lot easier to obtain than I thought they would be. So, yeah, we'll be doing this a whole lot. I, how do I say thank you? You give me a part of my life back that it was I'd forgotten. That is just <laughs> great. That's oh, thank you. I just I, you know how do you describe that? You guys have given me something that that thank you so much. That that's uh I I got to shoot a deer today. <laughs> that's that was amazing. That was amazing. We'd like to thank some amazing people. Pete and Bobby Odlin for graciously sharing their land, the guys at US Golf Cars for their hard work. Vicki Kennedy and everyone from the NWTF Flat River chapter, and a special thanks to Steve Christians for showing us the true meaning of determination, courage, and what it means to be a real Michigan outdoorsman.